goodness, you look so cute. Pack your bags, we're out. Oh, this is a super nice fresh one. We're looking around your house. Good morning. If I look blue right now, it's because, um, well, I told you how we accidentally <laughs> moved into a construction zone. So now they have this blue taping over the window. I don't know if you can see it. And it's making everything blue. But yeah, to, uh, I think we're getting out of this apartment and I think we're staying in Miami. That's the real tea. I hear the drilling upstairs right now. We were gonna move back to Arizona, like just get out of this apartment. It's a construction zone, like got a blast, but it's gonna be too much with a baby. Imagine moving across the country with a two month old or he'll be three months, I guess, by the time that happens, but no. So we've been looking at houses here and I think having a house is gonna feel so nice. And I think we just have to do it. I think that's just what has to be done. But anyways, that is the life update. That's the life update. He's asleep right now, so I have a little time to do whatever I wanna do. And I'm like, whoa, how do I use this time? It's a rarity. Like, should I do skincare? I should go through my new packages. My room right now is so crazy with packages. I kind of live for the chaos though. Like I'm not even organizing it because I'm just like, ah, this time of year is so crazy. And like building off that. I got a stink ass walk. I got a stink ass walk. It, like, oh, I've been walking crankety for three days. If I didn't say anything, would you know? Uh, hey. Yeah, I feel like you can't tell. Um, but yesterday I had a stink ass walk because I started doing Barry's boot camp. That clap, have you ever done that? I've never really heard of Barry's boot camp before. This lens was so crusty. So Barry's boot camp. A, I'm really proud of myself for being able to do these after just giving birth. Like I had never even tried that before. So the fact that I'm able to even do it at all in general period, like I don't even know if old me would have been able to do that, but postpartum me being able to slay a Barry's boot camp class, that's a little, that's a little crazy. At least that's what I thought. But I think I might've gotten a little too ahead of myself and a little too cocky with it. And I did a lot of classes in a row. And my knees have left the chat. And the most embarrassing part is, I don't know if it's because of the insane, intense running that's half of the class, because I've never ran before in my life essentially, or if it's because when we do, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed to even say this out loud, but when we do the backward to the backward lunges, this is so dumb. I think I've been just so excited about I just pound my knees into the ground. Like, you know how you're supposed to obviously like lunge like that? Obviously, hello. I was just feeling myself and I was going like, boom. <laughs> I can't even do it right now because I'm so jacked. I'm walking like a grandma. So I think I just pounded my knees into the ground. <laughs> Having a baby is humbling in a lot of unexpected ways. Um, and I've been taking, what's it called, like pills for hair loss, cause it's like a thing, you like have a baby and your hair falls out. <laughs> like that's so fucked up. Like did we not just do enough? Like have I not done enough? Can I have a fucking second? But yeah, your hair starts to fall down. Um, and up here, you can't really tell anymore, but it was, like I had a bald spot right here. You can't really tell anymore, I've been taking. Oh my God, like I am so sorry, but I have to go. This construction. I just, we just can't. We just cannot. <laughs> like I was just walking to the other room to get a pair of gold hoops and I see men in my backyard. Like I, we must go. We must go, we're leaving. Oh. I thought it was a social security office for real social security card. What I've do you have to on, say about all this? I've been on hold for an hour and a half. Um, about what, the social security card or the apartment? The apartment. We're going, we're on the way. Pack your bags. We're out. I'm tired, baby. I'm tired. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> I have the biggest skims addiction. Look at what came in. Oh, okay. So this is for me. Anything holiday, I'm just... <laughs> and this is for Rio. I'm obsessed. I have the biggest 
Skim's addiction right now. I truly like look at. I just ordered all this the other day. I don't know what happened. I just blinked and my cart was full. So shout out to Skim's for sponsoring this video because I am such a loyal customer that it, it feels nice. It feels right. It's the best gift to get someone. Any of my girlfriends, I always get them skims. It's so easy to give somebody skims. And like, I don't have a lot of time right now, obviously just with the baby. So picking out skims as a gift has been so easy. I got them for my friend Leia recently. She's like, you got me skims. I'm like, yes, I got you skims. I got them for Chris. For her 21st birthday, I got her the black PJ set and like a black long dress. I know she's gonna be happy with it. It's a very safe, solid gift because you give it to someone and they say, okay, you're cool, A, and B, like, yeah, who doesn't want skins? I'm gonna go look at the house that we might potentially be moving into later. Is it weird to pull up in these? Because like, I want to envision myself at home, how I'm actually gonna be at home, like, big chilling. Like, is that weird? I might do it. Aww. Sleeping all day. You gotta change your diaper. You gotta change your diaper. Hi, Chuk. Hi, Boom Boom. <gasps> okay. It's okay. It's crazy how interactive he is now. Like when he was a newborn, obviously, he would just kind of like look, and that's about it. And now he's starting to talk, oh, not talk. I'm like, he could talk, but he's starting to like goo goo gaga. Oh, it's so cute. This stage is the best. And me and Henny are like, if we could just pause right now at this exact stage. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he looks so cute. Stop, stop, stop. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my life. You're matching my mommy. I also got some red matching ones with Henny that are so cute. I'll show you them. I'm obsessed. We look so cute. I can't believe it's his first Christmas. Was I pregnant last Christmas and I didn't even know? I'm not sure if the math is mathing there. But regardless, it's crazy that... He is here this Christmas. Isn't that so special? They already put the holiday lights up all around the city and that is my favorite thing. I have been quite the little social butterfly recently and it's been making life super fun. It was honestly those workout classes that started it all. Cause now me and my friends, we go, we meet up, we'll get a little smoothie after. There's a man on my balcony right now. Hey, the men are on our balcony. There's a man. <gasps> on my balcony. Anyways, I've been such a social butterfly recently and it's been making life really, really fun. Um, like, I don't... Hi, Boom! We've been doing game nights at our house with our friends, which oh. have been super wholesome and fun and like baby friendly. What else have we been doing? I've been doing those workout classes with all my friends. Hello! Christmas is coming up. I do have to do my holiday shopping. My whole family is going on a Christmas trip but I'm not going because it's in Mexico. We don't have his passport yet. And that seems a little intense with a baby. Like as social as I've been and as like much of a slay as I feel like I've been doing with the parenting, not to toot my own horn. Ignore the knocking you hear. It's just a man with a golf club. We have to move. We have to move because I accidentally moved us into a construction zone. Um, but yeah, Mexico seems like it would be intense. So we're not going to go to the family trip to Mexico. So I think what we're going to do is, while well, everybody is living it up south of the border, I think we're going to be setting up this new house. I think that is what we're going to do. And it's his first Christmas. I've been the one trying to push me and Henny to start taking him out of the house just a little bit more. Right? That's because mommy's so much fun. That's because mommy's so much fun. Like to go on little walks and like to go to a little cafe. I have to like get us out of our comfort zone and kind of push us to do those kind of things so that we can get him used to the real world and so we can get him on like a little bit more 
have a big boy life. You want to live a big boy life? He's been sleeping through the night a lot more than he was when he was in that newborn stage because he'll be three months relatively soon. And now, like, every day at 8 p.m., he has his little bedtime, and he's in bed at 8 p.m. The routine we have for him is bath, bottle, bed. And that happens every night at 8 p.m. after that relaxing bath. And after that big old bottle of milky, he goes right to sleep. And then he'll wake up, like, two times in the night. But what's changed is now during the day, he is wide awake isn't that right all day he's looking at me like this like just like ready to party so i have to keep him entertained during the day so we play on his little play mats i take him on walks i do silly dances and i sing silly songs and that's why i've been trying to also take him out into real life a little bit more because he's so awake like he's honestly asking for it that's the biggest difference between the newborn stage and now the newborn stage he was kind of sleeping the whole day and now he's turning into a big man. You're smiling so much today. Ooh. Every time we get in the car, he instantly gets put to sleep. It's so funny. Oh, it's a gated community, by the way. Isn't that sick? I think I'm actually gonna love that, babe. I feel like the vibes in here, I already feel like more chilled out. The vibes in here are cool. Can you give me a tour? I get so embarrassed to like film this in front of these real estate agents. Like, honey just asked her to step outside, but I feel so awkward with my vlog camera. Like, no, I mean, can show, you film? show around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give them a tour. This is an empty no, you house do tour. It. You do it. I do it. I do it. Ooh, oh my god, I love it. You like it? Can you tell them I'm walking all crazy? This is huge. So you walk in and the living room is here. This also, is it. Also, like for the furniture, what we're thinking about doing is basically just copy pasting what we have in the other place. Literally, just putting it in a U-Haul, bringing it on over here. Shake the knees off, baby. Oh. Shake it off. Shake it off. They hurt. Okay, so this is the kitchen. The kitchen is big. The black. Obviously, not what I would have chosen, but who cares? We're not here for a long time. I think it's still cute. And I think it'll be fun to film the little videos in here. Like I could just see it. I could see us having a little morning coffee moment here. This neighborhood is super safe. It's in a gated community. And this is gonna be great. I'm not thinking we're gonna do what we did in the last joint and make it all kooky and paint the cabinets all crazy colors. I think this is just perfect as it is. We have a Double. Oh, this is a super nice fridge, by the way. Breakfast nook right here. Oh, we're gonna ask for these walls to be painted too. Yeah, painted. You don't want these removed. I think they're so funky and random. I'd rather have the light in, personally. I'd rather have the option to close it. You think so? Because I think wood always looks cute. Like I think white and wood always looks. Oh, the gray. The gray looks a little random, but I'm telling you, woods tend to look cute with whites. We need to have them take out that honker donker though. This, yeah. Do you see how the, like the vibes in here are good? It gets so much natural lighting. We'd be able to have a backyard again for Lua. I feel so bad for Lua. There has just been so many life changes for our dog. Like we moved to Miami and then she moves into an apartment. She loses her dog door and she loses a lot of attention that she's used to because we had a baby and now we're not giving her as much attention as she's used to. So she's not been having the best time here in Miami. So something I'm personally really excited about, getting a house versus an apartment, at least just for the time being, is that she gets a backyard and she can come and go as she pleases. And I think her life is gonna get a lot better. I'm testing right now, I'm trying to go outside and see if it's too noisy. Is this too noisy, you think? You could definitely hear the cars. I told them we have never been so social in our lives. Now we need the spot. We, me and Henny, like, we don't really host like that because we don't really have a lot of friends. In Miami, we have so many friends. I think this is what would happen. I think because it's a little bit noisier because of the cars, I think it would actually help us at night. Because if we have friends over, it's not like we're getting told, like, shh, quiet down. Like, there's also... He's up? 
I want to be like talking with you. Can you come up here and we can discuss? Oh, you look so cute down there. Do you think the two stairs with the baby is an ish? No. No? Two like two floors. This is what's weird about this house. The main bedroom has this weird built-in. But I think we're gonna rock it out. Like I think we're just gonna figure out some way to make this space cute. Because it's a huge space. And I think once we copy and paste our furniture into here and we add a little bit more of our personal personalities and we just complete this awkward space, I feel like it won't be awkward by the time we're done with it. This bathroom rocks. Like these ceilings are super nice. I feel like this would rock for like, yeah. Oh like, yeah, look at that. This is 50 times better than mm -hmm. where we are right now. Hi. Do you like this house? Do you like this house? Okay, so this is, we have two rooms on this side of the house. They both have this amazing high ceilings. Oh, this room rocks. Yeah, I think mean, this house is perfect. So one of these will be my studio. One of these will be his nursery. I want to say this will be my studio because it has all that built-in cabinetry. Sure. But basically, you know what happened with the studio right now at our current place? That pink color on the wall just makes all the videos come out bad. So I'm not going to paint the walls here. And this is perfect, perfect, perfect for his nursery. Obviously, we'll have them take out those crazy chandeliers. But look, we have these. We can put all his little clothes. Oh, there's a little mirror. He's going to be too little to even enjoy this, but... Because I think this is a kid's room right now. Mm -hmm. So we can oh, put yeah. all his little clothes, his little diapers. We have to change these to blue. So cute. Most of you watching this video do not have kids yet. This is what I wish somebody would have told me. Every shower you take is a blessing. Oh my God. I have to plan my showers. It's probably just because he's a baby, but oh my God, I have to plan my showers. Like I just got him down for a nap and I'm like, all right, I have about 20 to 30 minutes to take a shower and I'm going to savor every moment. So if you don't have any kids yet, do not take that for granted. The Skims Holiday Shop is really where it's at for the holiday season. Like I also got this ribbed set and I just feel like Mrs. Claus Batty edition. If anybody gave me skims for the holidays, I would be over the moon. So I think I'm gonna do a lot of skims gifting this year for friends and family. Honestly, they have these cute little packs that make it very easy to gift things. Like this on the left is their underwear. These are some bras and they have all these cool limited edition colors. Stop for me and Henny. But yeah, these are a great gift for your mans, for your girlfriends, for anyone. You give skims to anyone and they are gonna be happy with you. You give skims to me and I'm gonna be happy with you. If any of my uh, friends are watching. Unfortunately, I am not gonna be doing Vlogmas this year. I feel like, I mean, that one's a little obvious. I have a lot going on. And imagine posting a video on YouTube every single day. You know, I don't see it possible for this December. I have been posting a TikTok every single day for the past, I think, seven months. So TikTok is my vlogmas. I am going to be posting more in December. Personally, like I watch the most YouTube during this time. And I'm just so grateful for the other YouTubers that post around this time because they really like the videos hit this time of year. So I am going to be posting more these upcoming months just because like it's holiday vibes and I'm really trying to not let all the moving honestly take away from us vibing and like hanging out because I never really intended on obviously like all this moving to be such a drawn out thing but that's like and I'm just glad I'm glad we kind of figured it out today that was one that had to get solved because I'm just like what are we gonna do I have to be really quiet to not wake up the baby oh, look at her <laughs> she's like guys what's going on <laughs> okay well Thanks for hanging out. And I will see you in the next video. I broke the news that we're not doing vlogmas this year. Oh yeah, it's crazy. There's no way with a two month old. Or is there a vlogmas announcement? Should we do vlogmas? No, I actually can't even imagine it. Henny picks up Lua like a monkey. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.